What's up, boys and girls? It's me, Mike Eternal, and as you can tell by what's on your screen, we are back for another round of Let's Play Spooky's House of Jump Scares. You guys recall in the last episode, I was scared, quite literally speechless, by a monster we encountered and decided to fuck our shit sideways. So, um, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. But... Um, another change that I'm making um, with this episode, and we're going to see how well this works, is that I've actually decided to go without headphones. Because I don't know if you guys saw from the first two or three episodes, however many it's been so far, how taut the freaking headphone cord was. It was just, it was a pain in the ass to work with. So, um, I got my setup ready. Let's get into it, man. Let's get this, get this over with. <sighs> Room 200. God, I just already with the fucking the atmosphere. I feel like my volume might be a little quiet. Like I said, this is my first time trying it without headphones. We'll see how this works. <coughs> Not that I don't think we have to, but let's save again just for shits and wins. Let's see what's up with these rooms now. This is good. Medieval. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought there. I said medieval and then I just kind of stopped. Because terror. Because revisiting the memories of the last episode. <sighs> so far, nothing new. I was half tempted we in, in the room that we just went through to go down the uh, middle hallway to see if it had an ending, but I decided not to waste any fucking time and just... What the fuck is this? It's different. It's different, and in this game, I don't fucking trust different. So, we are not going to... Yo, is that Swamp Thing? Is motherfucking Swamp Thing back? Fuck it, I'm not gonna... Wait, no. That wasn't... Oh, no, that's not Swamp Thing. That's the fucking one thing. That's the evil, nasty fucking shit that got me last time. No, broken? Are you fucking for real broken? And why does this look all fucked up? Is there a reason why? That would be it. Yo, if there's even a chance that that fucking creepy little ghost bitch is fucking- Whoa, what the fuck? Um, is there a fucking reason- Okay, good for you. Is there a fucking reason why? Yo, that- What the fuck? What is with this dude having suddenly dropped tons and tons of acid? Just acid for fucking everybody. Like Jimi Hendrix levels of acid. Thank God my setup is is opting to work for me today. I don't know what is with this guy's shit getting fucked, but uh, my commentary is not creative because I have a whole new level of scared again. Oh, what is up with that? That's so weird. I mean, needless to say, it's disorienting. That's fucking, that goes without saying. See, like, right there, it fucked me up trying to get in the door, and I totally just clicked when it was naps. There's the fucking freaky faceless painting again. Yeah, good for it. Actually, is it weird that kind of gives it clarity? Like, okay, I can see where the door is at the end of the room. When it gets all fucking wonky like that. Is that weird? I feel like that defeats the purpose of what it's trying to do. But, I still don't want to know what the fuck is wrong with... Whatever that is, why it does that, god my commentary is lacking today. I, just, I had, I mean I did my full 9 hour shift at work and... So, exhaustion, whoa, what the... Uh oh. I hear a noise, why can't I get through, what the fuck? There it goes. Oh, that was not cut. I feel, I, feel, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there's something on the floor. Can I please go? The room didn't even go red there, and I still managed to fuck it up. Like I said, I don't know what is up with the rooms going red, but we are not sticking around to find out. It's It sounded like, at first, the, the noise that I was hearing sounded like... What did I call it last time? Casper, the unfriendly fucking cunt? Her. And, um... 
obviously we, we weren't going to stick around for that bitch. But, um... Oh, oh god, what's that say? Don't know, I don't know how much longer I can go on. I... Uh, okay, we've already heard that. I love it. All the crap that could have scared me in this episode so far, and the little skeleton jump scare. It does that every single time. Why was that? Why did the Hunger Games can't... Oh, hi, Spooky. So it would seem. You sound surprised. That's not confidence-inspiring. I don't trust your... Yo, Samurai Spooky. No, not Samurai. Night Spooky. Still cool. I said we learned not to trust. Uh, the password is pumpkin. Oh, okay. Like I said, I just had to whip around because we learned not to trust. Look behind you after um after uh the last shit after PT, which I still keep meaning to link in the description below and never do. I feel like I've only been at this like five minutes. I can't, I can't just stop here. So we'll try and take it down the or take it up to three hundred. We're left with a choice, left or right, and since we're left with a choice, I'm going to trust my lucky dollar coin here. This is a presidential dollar coin from the presidential dollar coin set thing that I got out of a, a vending machine, ironically enough. There's a story behind this, and I'll tell a story behind the coin in a separate video if anybody wants to know it, but this is actually the Miller Fillmore coin. He was our 13th president. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a whole stupid reason why I know that. Heads is right, tails is left. Heads. Heads is right. More to the point, spooky, spooky lied. Bunch of jump scares. That wasn't a gift at all. Lying little shit. I don't trust it when the music just dips out like that, or when it gets all fucking grainy like this. All right, now the last time everything was locked, I wound up having to find a note on one of these little tables. There it is. That <clears throat> this was su this was such a surprise that there was another it was an entry one I could one I could admire, but then as suddenly as it came, it left, and now you disband. Your influence and inspiration will never leave me. All right, good. The lock still. Damn, man. All right, what's this? Such a surprise. Now you disband. All right, good to know. Can I get through, please? Thank you. I don't know why it chose to just hold me up like that. Fuck! God Alright, come on, hit. Do that. Fuck. Really? Whatever. And the first one shook me real good. The second one... Mm, hit or miss. Like, it got me. I jumped. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say I didn't. It's on video. All right, I skipped these last time. Let's see if anything's different. I, th I think I figured out how to do the damn thing behind these. Yeah, it's controlled by the mouse. Okay. So let's see what's up with these games now. Okay, I thought it was controlled by the mouse. Maybe it's not controlled by shit. Okay, I have no clue. I thought it was controlled by the mouse, and it didn't do the damn thing for me, so... Who knows? Oh, that's how we do that, okay. Whoa! That's a much different outcome than the, uh, the last one. It's, it's cathartic in a weird way. I feel like this is somehow uh, going to affect my gameplay later on and murdering all these innocent people. It's so fucking weird. Alright, 
that was bizarre, and that one doesn't appear to be working. So, I mean, I could sit there and do that stabby thing all day, but we're not going to make any progress that way. Not oh, one of these. You gotta guess the combination here. Right, straight, right, straight. Left. There we go. I love to know what's up with these weird, like, th those weird ass rooms. And it could be it's just like a different, you know, map, a different setup, but there may be absolutely nothing to it at all. Or it may be a whole part of the lore of the house. Why the music start up? Oh, great. Skinny hallway. Yeah, there. I, I, just, I was just about to say, they're going to try and jump scare me. And sure enough, the sons of bitches, they did it. Well, that's pleasant. I don't even want to fuck with that. I don't fuck with paintings. Haunted paintings are one of those things that, whoa. Half expecting to see spooky here. Oh, what's this? A note. I almost walked, walked past it. <clears throat> I think this is my last note. I'm going to die have, having never found my escape. But really, that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. And in the end, my death is kind of romance. God, again with the fucking convoluted idea of romance. Is it, am I going to be chased by, like, the... Fuck you! God damn it! <laughs> There's the Harry Potter map again. You are here! Fuck you! That's where you are! Alright, 283. I feel like they're going to fuck us hard in the last 15 rooms. I say last 15. Last 15 rooms of this episode. That something fucking bad's gonna happen. Oh, that's weird. Wasn't quite sure where I was going. Again, it's, I, I feel like there's something else to these these rooms with the giant cylinders in them that I'm fucking that I'm fucking missing. All right, I don't wait. Where the fuck did I just get turned around? No, there I am. That's pleasant. That's kind of like what happened to... Whoa. Thought I saw something move in that painting. I'm opting not to fuck with it. That's how you die. Have to listen here. Alright, so left. Left. I just tried straight. I knew that that wouldn't work. So left. Left. Hey, there we go. Left, left, straight. Left, left, straight, right. Damn. Left. Left, straight, straight. Damn. So left, left, straight, left. There we go. Whoop, swamp. All right, now that is swamp thing. Swamp thing's back. Yay. But hey, you know what? We've dealt with fucking swamp thing before. Swamp thing doesn't bother me nearly as much. As, um, fucking, uh, Casper the Unfriendly fucking cunt, and, uh, we'll call him Red Rum, because I don't know what the hell is with those red rooms, but Red Room makes me think of Red Rum. I found our buddy! Hi, buddy! I guess that was his last note. Usually there's a note here. Yo, is it, yo, is it just me, or does he give off, like, a very, uh, oh, I'm gonna butcher it, the, uh, Day of the Dead in Spanish. Um, Dios de los Muertos, or I, I, I'm sure I butchered that, but you guys see what I'm getting at. Day of the Dead in Spanish. It's a, it's um, I'm not sure. If, God, it's been so long since I studied it. But the point is, he gives off a very Day of the Dead vibe. So we're gonna save the game here. Gosh, I don't know. I feel like this is all very quick. Like this this episode that we made it to 300. Let's see, I saved the game, 
we're gonna try for more. We're gonna try for 350. To, I guess to kind of make up for the fact that I think we only did 50 in the last episode or whatever. Excuse me. I'm just kind of motored through 100 rooms in this one. I mean, if something fucked up catches us and kills us, then we made it through 100 and saved our game. That's Resident Evil on. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Very nice brickwork. Who's your mason, Spooky? You give me his card. Can you build me a, my own Spooky's house of jump scares? I'm kidding. I would never live in this fucking place. Alright. The place has already killed me twice. I'd prefer not to live here. There's always a chair in these rooms. I don't get it. What's with the chair? Is the chair part of the lore? Is the chair part of, like, all the creepypastas that probably inevitably come with this game? This game, by the way, I, I just want to point this out for as awesome as it is, because I actually am, despite it be having been terrified on multiple oca occasions. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. No, I keep clicking the wrong thing. God damn it. There we go. Cat DOS. Hey, I'm with the little cat. Access specimen database. Modif modify house layout. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> modify house layout. Fuck you. Docile. Total fatalities for method of heart attack. Or method of fatality, I guess. Whatever. Springs out from malls, proved not to be very effective against healthy subjects. Hex <laughs> sure is trying to kill me. Whoa, hey, it's Swamp Thing! Hi, Swamp Thing. You look lovely in that picture. Type, active, <laughs> total fatality is 137. I wonder if my fatality is counted in there. A mostly semi-solid specter. Yeah, it's hard to say. Semi-solid specter, uh, semi-solid base specter, I fucked up. That frequently changes matter states. Proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects like me. Oh, that's the uh, millipede of uh, death and hatred. Type active in testing, total fatalities 43 via infectious bites. A test specimen being developed in GL labs. Should prove useful when released to average subjects. I think that was the. I don't even want to fucking no, uh uh, uh no, we're not fucking with her. Yo, what the fuck is that? Active total fatality is 168. <laughs> After 160, who's really keeping count anyway? Creature found inside a church. In a small town, subjects are lost. After contact with the specimen, current method of killing is unknown. That's cheerful. Thank you. Proved extremely effective against subjects with mental issues or weak will. Where a town had once been. The specimen is active despite appearance that has proved very disregarded for health vision impairments. Changing form and attributes depending on the subjects. Alright, so I'm not even going to go through the rest of these because we could be here all day, but basically, we've learned that the worst is yet to come. Door I came in. Yeah, my watch vibrated. Why did my watch vibrate? God, I I wish I'd never looked in that shit. I I would have rather. What the hell? Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh, this is good. Oh, this is fucking great. Oh, the puppet. Fuck, we just read about this thing, man. One day, a strange merchant came down. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all children loved his stores and gifts. The town couldn't support his store because other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, and one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the Like, we just read about this shit, didn't we? I'm spooked. Oh. 
but just afterwards he came running to the river crying and, wa and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. God. Can we just get the fuck out of here, please? I don't want to fuck with this shit. I really don't. Haunted dolls. Why can't I pick? Okay, there we go. I, you know, it's funny. Haunted dolls, I, I'm not sure how much they frighten me, but they frighten me. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. As more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest around the river. <clears throat> puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. Oh, I get it. I read them in the wrong order. Yo, and this is all one room, too. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's lovely. Let's just... Bro, what are you? And why the fuck are you watching me? I feel like if I turn away, it's gonna fuck me. Fuck? Okay. Uh, fuck it. Let's just run. Oh, hi there. Oh, that's just appropriate. Thank you for that. To become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to some died. Thanks, I was reading that. Down to our next fuckboy, kids. Oh my god. At least now I know what to do. Just run like a motherfucker. Yo, that thing was strong too. That thing killed us in like three hits. What the fucking shit? No. Okay. So now that we know what our next fucking adventure is about, we're gonna cut this episode here. If you guys like what you saw, then of course you know what to do. Head down below, hit them like and subscribe buttons, leave me a comment, tell me you care, or tell me I suck. Either way, I'm sure I'll get what I deserve. You guys stay safe and stay sexy out there. <clears throat> that was weak, excuse me. I just ate dinner, so. Um. You guys stay safe and stay sexy out there. My name's Mike Eternal, and I will catch you guys next time.